if housing or commercial buildings have become a commodity for people in the business, distinguishing your commodity product from the, your competition and still functioning on the level of price becomes very difficult. I can see how if you're competing on cost, you're out of luck if you're a small builder because you're not going to get the economies of scale. But doesn't a small builder have an advantage that they actually can make choices that create more value? And one of those choices is to build beautifully? Yes. Um, but the decision to build beautifully um, is subject to entropy. That without it's subject to what? Ent entropy. Okay. So without the investment of new organizing energy, things tend toward decay. So you have to be really serious about building beautifully because there are many things that are going to take a little nick out of your budget and out of your time and attention. And uh, the, the raw necessity of having to get it done in time for people to move into it. Um, there are a lot of compromises to be made along the way. And those things compete for your time and attention, your limited time and attention as a small operator. So if you're successful as a small builder and you can demonstrate that what you build is uh, well-designed, well-conceived, located on the lot well, creates great outdoor privacy, you know, hides the, the garage, you're doing all these good things, you're probably going to be able to command a premium price uh, because people do value those things and it's hard to find it in new construction. So to be able to deliver beauty in new construction can be a winning combination for a small operator. But there, the road to get there, uh, to build a business model around that, uh, can be really challenging. And for a lot of builders, um, they are kind of coincidentally in business because primarily they really want to build cool stuff. So don't, they often don't spend a lot of time working on their business and making sure that their work is well integrated with the designers they'd like to work with. Or uh, they've built a good rapport with the folks at the city or with the neighbors because they're bouncing around on infill lots all over town. So they never quite cultivate one neighborhood. So there's a lot to it if you're going to build a business that builds beautifully. Uh, but it can be... Uh, not only financially rewarding, but also uh, personally very satisfying. If you're really proud of what you've built, um, you would bring your child or your grandchild to see what you did. Um, that's a good life.